Welcome to the Bourbon Van. I'm Phil. I'm Julie, and we're in McMinnville, Oregon. On this episode of the Bourbon Van, we travel to McMinnville, Oregon for the Wine Country Whiskey Trails Drink Beyond the Vine event. We'll introduce you to our latest single barrel whiskey selections that you can purchase today. We'll share some of our favorite whiskey, beer, and gin finds from Wine Country, and we'll take you along for a beautiful trail run. Let's hit the road. Well, the van is in the shop getting upgrades, so we're heading to McMinnville this weekend in a Subaru. So welcome to the whiskey car. <laughs> we have two single barrel whiskeys that are currently available in our online store, and we're so excited to tell you about them. We think that these are absolutely delicious. The first one we're gonna tell you about is really one of the reasons that we're here this weekend. Bull Run, part of the Wine Country Whiskey Trail. They will be selling a small run of these bottles at the Drink Beyond the Vine event, and we're gonna be excited to be there and share it with everybody. This is Bull Run's American Whiskey. It's aged 15 years. It's bottled at barrel strength, 116 proof. Flavors of maple syrup, vanilla, caramel, all over the place. The nice thing about it is that it was aged in X bourbon barrels. It's not a new charred white oak barrel. So instead of 15 years building on all that oak and getting somewhat bitter, it's just layered complexity. You can taste the age, but it doesn't taste over oaked. We think this bull run is a great value at $70. And because Shared Pour has flat rate shipping, get this one and our next pick, save yourself a little money. The other bottle that we have available in our store right now is a collaborative pick that we did with the Bourbon Judge and Bourbon of the Week. This is Driftless Glen from Wisconsin. This is a rye whiskey, 125 proof. And Chris from Bourbon of the Week, it was his idea. He said, you know what? In the interest of holiday goodwill, because our supporters of our channels have been so good to us this year, let's not price this one up at all. So our price is your price. This is a $65 bottle. The thing I like the best about it is the way it hits your tongue. It is silky and even at 125 proof, it drinks so nice. It is Mexican hot chocolate. It's so creamy and flavorful and layered, and it's aged seven years and 11 months. We're so excited to share this one with you. Again, go to thebourbonvan.com and click on single barrels from the navigation to find both of these bottles. We found this great little tiny house hotel for the weekend. A bedroom, a sitting area, a kitchen, and a bathroom. What more do you need? Plus the spot is only a couple blocks walk from downtown McMinnville and the Drink Beyond the Vine event. Before we head off for an afternoon of whiskey and beer tasting, I found a quiet little park that looks like a great place for a trail run. We found Miller Woods Conservation Area here in McMinnville, Oregon, and it said it was three and a half miles. We get here, it's about four and a half. So we'll see where we end up, but this looks like a nice little trail. Look how pretty this is. I also like it. <laughs> That was a real blast. This was actually kind of like my perfect trail. It was good hiking, good running, nice uphills, nice downhills. The directions were perfect. There was arrows everywhere you needed to go. Well done, McMinnville. We came in at 4.15 miles, about 700 feet of elevation gain and loss. It was a blast out there, perfect day. I'd do this again, recommended. Welcome to the bourbon van after dark. Fire. <laughs> we just got back from Drink Beyond the Vine here in McMinnville, Oregon. The Wine Country Whiskey Trail organized event. We had six distilleries, we had five breweries, we had a little bit of everything from everybody. It was really, really wonderful, but we took some stuff home and we can't wait to tell you what we scooped up. What are you most excited to talk about? There's so much good stuff here. Let's start with the beers and let's start with Forland who hosted the event today. Was it Caleb that brought over some beers for us? Caleb, Caleb, if you're watching this, nice to meet you. Sorry we couldn't spend more time. It was a busy day today. <laughs> I think it was a really successful festival. So I'm gonna start with the babies that we got to try today. So it was their German Pills and their Slow Temple Coffee Vanilla Stout. 
It was my first time drinking Foreland, which seems Kind of crazy, but there's a lot of beer here in Oregon, and this was delicious. <laughs> so one more note about Forlin, and I feel like we may have gotten a sneak peek. We were gifted the Cast Shadow Barrel Aged Imperial Stout, which I believe comes out next week, which if you see this video, it's already out. But it is a collab with Branch Point, and I cannot wait to try it. That is a very nice segue, because the next bottle we're gonna talk about is something we scooped up today from our friend Mitch, at Branch Point Distillery. This is Branch Point's Bottled and Bond Trit Straight Whiskey. Of course, 100 proof because it's Bottled and Bond. If you're wondering what in the heck does Trit mean, it is a wheat rye hybrid that's grown right here in wine country, Oregon. That is Triticale Whiskey. I said Oregon, it's sort of strange. Did Oregon. I said Oregon? I said or kind of Oregon. Uh, I, it's yeah. not right. Say it with me, Oregon. Oregon. <laughs> nice. Great to see Mitch today, and Branch Point also had a rum finished Triticale whiskey, which was quite good, but I, I wanted to get just one bottle, and <laughs> this bottle in Bond was the champion for me today. I thought it was great. One fun thing that came out of today was that we got to hang out at the Bull Run table where they were selling our 15 year aged American whiskey single barrel, which if you've been watching this video, you already saw us talk about it a little bit. We had a great time talking with all of you that were there and talking tasting notes and what makes this whiskey so great. And of course, there weren't that many there and they sold out and we're so excited about that. So thank you to everybody that came out and enjoyed this whiskey. We hope that you're enjoying your bottles as much as we're enjoying this bottle. We've got a couple more at home, thank goodness, because they're going fast. One of the other breweries that was there who I have loved for a very long time is Beerly Brewing, B-I-E-R-L-Y, and this Gans Vienna Lager, one of my absolute favorites. They have a Felix Pilsner. They had a India Pale Lager last summer that I was absolutely obsessed with. And here's the Rendezvous Double IPA. I didn't know you scooped this up. Yeah, I'm not a big IPA person, but even I liked this one. I thought it was really subtle, not overly bitter and hopped, which is right up my alley, and I thought you'd love it. Yeah, nice, nice balance. 7.3% alcohol. Yeah, that, that should, <laughs> that should me, do the trick. That should put me right to bed. Very nice pick. And that was JP. Is that who we met there from Beerly? Who yeah. was Fantastic, and by the way, if you ever go through McMinnville, Oregon, and you're in the mood for a soft pretzel with some beer cheese, check out Beerly Brewing. We had a great time there yesterday. And also, JP is Beerly. His last name is Beerly. He's the Beerly guy. Is that right? Is that where it comes from? <laughs> it is right. I had no idea. You know what? We have one of his maple bar donuts in the fridge, and I'm gonna eat that and just contemplate this information. I feel like this is very Bourbon Van. Like, you were very focused on, you know, being a responsible, talking about all the whiskeys, whatever, and I'm, I was out there schmoozing. I'm concerned about what <laughs> makes a brand a brand, and you just like, I know the people. <laughs> it's great. But we met a couple other people and drank a couple other things while we were there. What else did you enjoy? So I really want to do a shout out to Christian at Of Wolves and People. Hopefully I said that right. That's a mouthful. Yeah. <laughs> but they are a delicious brewery. I got to try two of their things. One is a stout. I'm not a huge stout person either. Sometimes I find that a little bit bitter, but it was really chocolatey, really. It was like kind of like a chocolate covered cherry. It was delicious. But they had- Where was I? Yeah, you were doing like, I was you doing know, other stuff. Other stuff. I was doing the tasting of the smoothie. I was smoothie, talking but, whiskey. Yeah. And the other thing was, a hun I'm not even going to say, but it was like a honeycomb hazy. What? I'm sorry. She had a lot more fun than I did. <laughs> she was wandering and I was stationary. Yeah. And they didn't have anything for sale today, but I am going <laughs> to seek it out. I think it's only, I don't quote me on this, but I think it's only available in Oregon right now. It sounds like the farm that they're on is pretty awesome. So I really want to take a trip to go visit that place. Wherever they are, I assume wine country, we should definitely go check them out. There's one more bottle sitting in front of us that I know you're jacked up to tell everybody about. I am, and we love them. So if you've watched our Wine Country Whiskey Trail video, and if you haven't, we're gonna link it below. But one of the first steps we made was Killdeer Distilling. I scooped up a bottle of their gin, and I think it was gone in two weeks. It was. <laughs> and so I mentioned to Colin that I love his gin, and I really wanted more. And I was able to acquire a Kildeer barrel aged gin, and I could not wait to cork pop this baby. Hang on, let me take a closer look at this. <laughs> gin made from grain neutral spirits, juniper berries, and other botanicals. What is it? What is it aged in? Do you remember? 
that information was not given to me, <laughs> so I cannot bring that forth. But Colin was very nice, and I think he was very appreciative that I loved his stuff so much, and I've been telling everybody about it, and so I cannot wait to try this barrel-aged version. Look at the color, by the way. It looks great. You probably can't see it because of this beautiful fire behind us. <laughs> we had an awesome day at Drink Beyond the Vine at Forland Brewing with the Wine Country Whiskey Trail. Everybody that was there was so awesome. Thanks to everybody that came out and tasted whiskeys and tasted beers and to you for wandering around tasting whiskeys and tasting beers and also to me for wandering around tasting whiskeys and tasting beers. <laughs> there were so many others there that we wanted to give a quick shout out to. Ewing Young Distillery, Shehalem Brewing, Ransom Distillery, Barn Door Brewing, Branch Point, who we already talked about, Beerly Brewing, we already talked about, Bull Run Distilling, of course, fantastic, Heater Allen, Brick Sewer Spirits. I we love those guys. absolutely love them. They're doing fantastic things. Also, of Wolves and People, you already talked about. I'm just going around the room in my yep. head. And the last one's Kildare Spirits and, of course, Forland Brewing, who hosted the entire event. Well, that was an absolutely delicious day in the wind and cold and the rain. Very Oregon over here. But now it's time to curl up in front of this fireplace and relax, maybe turn on some football, maybe have another glass of whiskey. I think that's in order. And from wherever we are. To wherever you are. Cheers. Cheers.